Hello. This is the first video in a series on how to produce Excel graphs and tables using Microsoft Excel 2007 for the textbook Regression Modeling with Actuarial and Financial Applications by Edward W. Fries. This video looks at page 4 and uh, the data is the Massachusetts automobile bodily injury claims data in natural log units. Here I have the data sorted from smallest to largest already. You can get the data from the course website. This data represents only the typical claims, not the uh, potentially fraudulent claims as denoted in the textbook. Uh, so we have 272 claims here and I'd like to reproduce table 1.2 on page 4 using Microsoft Excel 2007. Okay, so in Excel there is an option to use a data analysis package. So go to the Data tab, click on that, go to Data Analysis, go to the Descriptive Statistics option, press OK, and then it's asking you for an input range. You highlight, including the label, start highlighting the data, then press shift control down arrow key and it brings you to the bottom of the data. Uh, check this box labels in the first row. Check this box output range and let's post it right here starting in cell B3. I want to see the summary statistics. Press OK and there is uh, Excel's version of descriptive statistics and so far it looks nothing like what you see on page 4 in table 1.2. So we'll need to clean this up. First I'll stretch out column D here a little bit so that I can see what we have. So you can see uh, some of these statistics are actually functions of other statistics shown here. For example, the sample variance is merely the square of the standard deviation. I like to remove some of these statistics. Also, in order to make it look like uh, table 1.2, I'll get rid of this kurtosis and skewness and range and sum and let's make it look like table 1.2. Okay, so to do this I'm going to type in some of my own labeling to match table 1.2. So for example, number here and I'll put my count which was down here up here. Let's uh, delete, I'm going to highlight this, these two cells. Um, Press down on the control key, highlight the mode and its value, sample variance, kurtosis, skewness, and their values, and then the last two columns. Right click anywhere on that highlighted area and say delete, shift cells up. Okay. Now, uh, it matches so far what we see in table 1.2, but I also need the 25th percentile which by default Excel does not give me, so I'll have to calculate it. So I'm typing this in myself, and then Excel has a function though to calculate the quartiles, or 25th percentile, uh, is Q1. So I say equal quartile, parentheses, and then I highlight all the data. Comma, one means of the first quartile. So you can see the formula right here. So I highlighted the data range, comma 1 means find the first quartile. And I can do the same thing for the 75th percentile or third quartile. Comma 3 gives me the third quartile. So here's, here's the formula for the third quartile. Okay, now uh, again to make it look like table 1.2, um, I'm going to copy this uh, heading over. I guess I'll call this claims, but you have to recall that it's really in log, natural log of claims. And this is our variable name. And I'll get rid of all the formatting. There's not much formatting, but let's go to the Home tab. Here's a uh, border icon. Let's have no borders. Then I highlight both columns and, uh, oh, actually I have to do one more thing. There's formulas in these two cells right here and I need to uh, copy over those formulas with just the values. So I highlight the two values, 
Control C for copy, right click on that copied area, paste special values, press OK, and now the formulas are gone but the values remain. Now the reason I need to do that is I want to transpose these two columns so that it looks like table 1.2. Okay, so I highlight the uh, and the and the valid the form formulas won't uh, transfer correctly. So I co uh, highlight and copy, and then let's go right here and right click, paste special, transpose. Okay, okay. Now it's looking more like table 1.2. However, not quite. Um, I'm going to have to do some editing so to make it look like table 1.2. Let's have two rows of headings here. Okay, almost done. Uh, let's center all this stuff. So I highlight all of it and press center. Let's um, put a double border on the top here. Go to borders, uh, double border. Let's do it on the bottom here, double border. Let's make a single border right there. Again, trying to match what the textbook looks like. And then let's format these three decimal places. So I highlight the numbers, not the count number. And then here's the quick uh, format three decimal places. Okay, and all the numbers match what's on page four of the textbook, and it looks almost identical. So here we have a table of descriptive stats. Again, it looks very different from how Excel gives it to you, plus you have to find the first and third quartile with functions. Okay, so that's it for this first video. The next video will show you how to make figure 1.2 on page five, which is a density histogram with a normal curve superimposed over it.